Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your first bucket plugin, but before we do that, we're going to be, need to learn the very basics of Java. So in Eclipse, you're going to want to go to File, New, Java Project, or Project. If you don't have Java Project as an option, you're just going to want to go to File, New Project and select Java project. So project name, name this one first. This name this whatever you want. This is just a file name which all the all of your Java files will be kept in. Use an execution environment JRE, which you don't need to know what that means right now. Just make sure that for this tutorial it's on Java SE-1.6. If you do not have that, you're going to need to go to oracle.com and find the latest version of Java 1.6 to download. And finish. It will create a new folder over here. Click on Source, SRC. Then in the top of Eclipse, click on the C plus button or file new class they'll both bring you to this screen name it whatever you like so we'll name this hello world that's all we need to put in and then in here under which method stubs would you like to create uncheck inherited abstract methods and check public void main string args you don't need to know what that means for bucket programming. It will create dot fall package, do not worry about that. And then we have our pro our file, hello world.java. Delete these comments at param ours, you won't need to worry about that in this video tutorial. And to do our generated method stub, you can delete that. Now we're ready to start learning about Java. So in Java there are basically three types of data that you're going to need to be working with with bucket. These are the most basic data types in Java called primitives. You're going to need int, which is number, counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, an int can't have a decimal point, or else we'll get an error. And it also, you don't need to put it in any type of string notation. You don't need to have anything besides the number. Next is a double. And doubles are exactly like ints, except they can have decimal points. They're, def they're assigned the same things as ints, except you can also have decimal points. When you're assigning a double, you do not need to have a decimal point to create. It will automatically add a point zero if you don't add one. And then the final major primitive type that we'll be working with in bucket is booleans. And booleans equal either true or false. That's all you need to know for now. That is our basic Java tutorial. Next video will be showing us how to make a bucket plugin, but for now we're going to make a basic hello world. So in Java, the, to print to the console, you want to use system.out.print ln with two parentheses, open and closing, because print ln is a method of system.out Inside the method println, you're going to need strings, which are notated by double quotes. And then inside the strings, you can put whatever you want. We'll put hello 
world for now. Then, in the top of Eclipse, there'll be, next to a bug, a little play button, which you can just hit run. You can just click it, make sure you save, and then down here you get hello world. So that is how you make a basic hello world plugin, and next time we'll be learning how to do our first bucket plugin.